be the closest ones, enough to put you on the fence. But I'm all in this hip hop. I always fall for this. From grimy clicks to glossy whips, from putty mouths to balls to ticks, the arms up with balls and fists. I'm too real to just call the quits. Please report of the new world order. Bitch, and crazy, letting y'all know what's happening. This is actually an editor's note. This is not a BFF report. Uh, but as you know, a lot of you know, the editor in chief is actually running for president of the United States for the 2024 presidential election of the United States. Um, creating a graduation party. He's actually a forum open for the graduation party uh, that's open for political discussion. If you go to blackfoxnews.com slash LPEG, we could talk about a bunch of things. Um, anything that's important to uh, you as an individual. And we'll definitely be talking about this topic right here. So, these at-home abortion pills. You know, Republicans have been up in arms as of recent. And it's seeming like it's just a giant crackdown on abortion in general. So Republicans need to get that straight and recognize that that's how they coming off. However, me personally, I un I empathize and also have like just deep distrust for this idea of at home abortion or uh, abortion pills. Yes, they have been used for um, for years now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my my for stone. Um, or Myofraxis, which is called when it's so over the counter, whatever. This is something that's been used since 2000. Um, the doctors, doctors have also used it not just for abortions, but also for assisting with like miscarriages and uh, things of that nature, um, other um, pregnancy conditions. So this is not something that should be completely banned. However, when it comes to mailing pills to people so that they could ingest them and then abort their own babies at home in their residence without any medical supervision or anything like that i think that's i i, I understand people's concern yes science says that it, it is safe but and yes the fda did approve it and it's republic uh, a trump appointed judge um in texas that is actually had uh, banged the gavel to actually um uh, uh, uh uphold um actually prolong the um the approval by the FDA of this abortion pills or whatever, like, and that's been overturned. Today. That's been appealed today, so actually it's, it's somewhat available, but it won't be able to be mailed to your house. Aside from all that, though, even still, I think the act is dangerous. Like, it, it it's reasonable on a human level for someone to think that people won't be responsible in handling these and using these pills. First off, they're not as effective as in clinic abortions. Uh, you're talking about something that's considered 99 percent it's very rare that somebody goes into a clinic and gets an abortion and the abortion does not take place extremely rare um so uh but whereas when you take the at home abortion pills if you're taking uh mifrostone or um or or miso um pro miso proto um i might be mispronouncing it or whatever but that's the one where you gotta take like eight eight pills of it or whatever over a couple days these things can leave like you know lesions and ulcers in, a, in, your, in your stomach, uh, cause bleeding or whatever. The process could go smoothly, or it could just go how it's supposed to go and it'll give you cramping and it'll allow you to like contract your, you know, dead fetus out of your um, or not, or if it's not a fetus, you know what I mean, your dead embryo out of your body or whatever. But I think when you're dealing with that level of a um, of a of a medical change of something that's actually going to affect your organs and actually may even have lasting effects come something that comes with side, very serious side effects cons considering the wound i think skepticism should be at an all-time high and then just let the people vote on it i don't think there should be no cheating about it like really let's listen to the people and and see what they want because sometimes um I think the conversation of whether these pills are okay is getting lumped in with the conversation of just abortion overall. And I would urge uh, all of my pro-choice advocates and marchers and activists to be, be very distinct, distinguished between the two. You know what I'm saying? Understand that I think there's there's very it's reasonable to be skeptical of an at-home abortion. Period. Um, on the flip side, Republicans, y'all need to. This is a, a direct reverberation of your of the Dobbs uh, decision that took place last year. The Dobbs versus that, I'm re I'm referencing the Dobbs versus Jackson um, Supreme Court ruling that took place in 2022 that actually reversed uh, Roe v. Wade, which um, granted all 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 uh, states within our nation to have um, abortion rights that is protected by uh, federal government. 
Um, so now it's up to um, states' rights or whatever due to that decision. And, and states have one on, one by one been shutting down abortion completely in their states. So of course you got people that's going to say, oh, well, I'm not about to travel 200 miles to the next state to get an abortion. Um, I don't have the money. I don't have the income. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have the time. And getting a home abortion done. So I would have to ask you Republicans, like I understand your stance of like not believing in it, but there's a separation of church and state. What the fuck are you trying to accomplish when you're shutting down abortion and you're trying to shut down abortion pills? You can't really have it both ways. Clearly, there is a high demand for abortion and you are not speaking for the people. When you actually make a decision like that or you take a stance like that, everybody's not no fucking religious zealot at the end of the day. And if we're not talking about religion, then what are we talking about? Okay, we want to make it about, you know, the embryos, the fetus, life in the, in the womb. Is it murder and all of that? You know, science says texts, is, you know, religious texts and philosophical texts or whatever suggest that um, c consciousness in a human being is actually formed. Uh, once the formation of the pineal gland is actually complete, which takes place in three to four months of a pregnancy uh, from, you know, a missed period. With that being said, well, it, it, it can't be such that, you know, one month into, a, a um, you know, the insemination uh, that a woman can't have an abortion, otherwise she's committing murder. That doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Especially with all of these conditions that we have to deal with as a society uh, in regards to like, you know, rape or incest or, you know, extreme circumstances, painful delivery. It's a bunch of reasons why that shouldn't even be made into law. So if we're going to go and actually say that our people should stop, you stop having um, uh, at home abortions, then we need to make them available uh, in the clinics and stop punishing these people for um for having sex now if y'all want to stop abortions for real y'all want to lower uh the promiscuity of the american people then you have to go about that in different ways and i know nan none of y'all put motherfucking politics on the left politics on the left wing or the right wing is ready to have that conversation because y'all making too much money off of the off of the madness y'all making too much money off of the hedonism y'all making too much money off of the carnage so stop fronting acting like y'all trying to have really change society because you're not these draconian laws aren't doing anything but persecuting people. That's it. So let's let's get it together, MAGA. Let's get it together, Republicans. And also, let's get it together, Democrats. Because the whole, you know what I mean? And liberals and all that. Because the whole idea of, oh, you know, if I have a, a pregnancy, even at eight weeks, at any length of time on a pregnancy, it should be okay. Nah, I ain't feeling that shit either. You know what I'm saying? Now, if y'all disagree with me, definitely like leave a comment or, 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 or post something. On uh, blackfoxnews.com slash lpay or on whatever social media platform that you actually see this video on, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, because shit is real. And I think we in, in these real times need to have these grand discussions. You know what I'm saying? We need the people to actually speak up and decide what the people want to do. You know what I'm saying? Not these demagogues up here in the motherfucking Republican and Democratic parties. You know what I'm saying? Graduation party, that's what we about, elevation, because... I'm going to just keep it a band with you at the end of the day. Um, when it comes to those things, the the, 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 the safety, they even have some pills where pills where you like, you know, insert them in a, in a woman's vagina or whatever. You know, it comes comes with like, you know, burning sensations and all of these chemical reactions that are happening in the womb. You know what I'm saying? This is our, the womb is our closest, you know, um, known portal in order to get to God or to the universe or to infinity and beyond or whatever. It's got to be a sacred place. So if women want to treat it as a sacred place and say like, you know, my womb, my body, whatever, y'all got to be able to treat it as a sacred place as well and not be so quick to do that. But again, societal pressures, you know what I'm saying? Everybody fucking, you know, mistakes happen. I understand the need for abortion. That's why we need to make sure that's happening in the right way. And you could do that the most through clinics. But with the abortions where they actually insert things. Now, listen, I actually went, uh, my ex one time had a, a yeast infection that I had to actually you know she got some medicine for it and it was like some egg-shaped thing that she had to stick in her pussy now when we did this or whatever you know she was like you know distraught you know what i'm saying like the thing started creating a burning sensation whatever like she was just completely uncomfortable started crying the, the your, your boy was horrified you know what i'm saying and that whole experience or whatever and 
it's just me and her and this motherfucking burning egg here. Um, not that she was burning, not at all. You know what I mean? Not putting that out there, or whatever. That's not what was going on. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the egg was like, it was, it was creating a burning sensation in her pussy. Like at the end of the day, that shit ain't, that shit ain't, that shit was not pee. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you should be. She might not have been that worried as worried if there was a, a, a doctor or somebody at who had been through this process and knew what was going on taking place. We don't even know if we did it right or whatever. Just went a whole nother route with her treating her yeast infection or whatever. But moving on, that's just a glimpse of why like I could understand how that's like just an unsafe thing to do. She took it out. She felt the instinct to take it out. What if she would have kept it in that something bad would have happened? What if she really would have got burnt by a motherfucking... Uh, uh, motherfucking yeast infection egg. You know what I'm saying? Passing out STDs or whatever. We don't know what these motherfuckers is is, is putting in these uh, chemicals. And this is FDA approved, but we know that the FDA is understaffed. So this this idea that that's supposed to mean something like, oh no, it's safe. Like the science doesn't. Nah, cut it the fuck out. Cause all these foods on the on these shelves. You know what I'm saying? All these um, certified organic. Foods that's not even really organic, still chemically made, and all of that. All of this food that's just constantly causing United States people to have heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, um, cancer, and all of that, or whatever. We're not gonna act like the FDA is doing their job, especially when we know logistically they are understaffed as it pertains to uh, keeping track of our food and these, you know, emergency use authorization vaccines and all of that shit, whatever. As was shown by, you know, the Johnson & Johnson situation with their vaccines, you know, they was FDA approved. But moving on, um, it's enough proof out there for everyone to just respect the other human and understand that people have their struggles and their worries and their fears. You know what I'm saying? That needs to be put out on the table. And if people have different things, you don't have to dismiss the other side as being like, unconscionable crazy you know what i'm saying they're just zealous they just want to take over this that, and the third same time you got to make sure you don't fall into that shit there's demagogues in each party and we getting rid of all of them cutting them off by the head but that's it though bishop grady you already know running for president those polls and those votes will be made available on blackfossnews.com slash lp um the you know what i mean but in the meantime Right, Bishop Grady into the ballots. That's all we got to do, whatever. And we're going to keep bringing up the graduation party because this is going to be uh, something that's never been done before. You know what I mean? It ain't got to be done traditionally. Like, we coming how we coming. Bishop Grady for president, signing out. Green Wall on graduation. Talking about I got to do something. But well, what you calling this? Huh? Huh? I love me, huh? I love me, huh? I love you, too, but I love me, yeah. I love me, check it. I love me, uh. I love you. And you too. And you too.